Greetings, dear friends. Welcome to our group garden for our gathering in Creative Lab, the awakening of the souls of our nations. Thank you for joining us. And this is our last meeting in the second season of the series of this Creative Labs, and I hope there will be more. And uh, it's our collective journey, group creativity, that calls the awakening of the soul of all nations and the soul of humanity. And I want to express gratitude to the Hikal group and to the Klein Shkali group for holding this space for all of us, inviting and encouraging our group process. And big gratitude to Utan. So over to you, Utan. Thank you, Alexander, and welcome, everyone. Uh, let us start with an alignment. Breathing. Coming into our inner stillness. into our full presence as a conscious soul in incarnation. And entering now the energetic space of our nation's lab, sensing this space Extending a band of love to each other. Connecting our thinking. creating this telepathic field and standing in our common intent together of working with the consciousness of our nations. It was in this nation's lab field let us notice the connecting lines between our different national groups from pinnacle to pinnacle. And seeing the new small units sprouting and blessing them. Becoming aware of the presence of the Deva of our nation's lab, the being which holds the space of the lab, containing everything and holding everything together. Sensing our nation's lab as a living entity, a vibrant unit of service in the wider whole.
And tuning our consciousness now to the ashramic co-workers who guide and support this nation's project. And let us now return to our daily consciousness, ready to enter our work together, knowing that guidance will be given step by step as needed. So in the last few webinars, we have shared snapshots of our nations with each other. And we have also just a little bit explored the work with the Triangle of Nations. And um, we develop this path together as we go. It seems that we will be moving from looking at one nation to perceiving the relationship between nations. So, in Asajoli's terms, it's to move from national psychosynthesis to international psychosynthesis. So, looking at the space between nations, the dynamics between nations. <clears throat> And in this space, this interrelational space, similar to how it is between individuals, also for nations, the unresolved issues come immediately up to the surface and we recognize them as impediments to right relations which have to work, be worked through. <clears throat> and how to handle them, how to work with them requires some preparation and wise balancing, as we know. Um, and taking responsibility for ourselves, for our light and for our shadow may be one of the um, fundamental preparations that we need to make in order to make our shared space as safe, as harmonious as possible. And of course, we know all this theoretically, but we are, I think we are coming to realize now that our capacity to bring this now into practical implementation is really the world peace rests on this. It's really of the essence. So in this session, we will recapitulate what we have been doing in previous uh, uh, webinars together, looking at the light and the shadow of our nation. And um, um, before we move on to solidify this capacity to self-reflect as a nation. And it's an experiment in our, in these controlled lab conditions that we have here. Um, we do this experiment um, as a forerunner, so to speak, for what our nation and humanity as a whole, we'll have to do at a later stage. So as uh, Alexander already said, in August we will have a summer break, like last year. And after the summer break, we will then be ready for the next phase. <clears throat> so before we go into meditation, I want to highlight a few things about self-reflection. Let's first take a moment to sense what this is, self-reflection.
It, it marks a certain stage of human achievement because there must be a conscious self which does this self-reflection. And of course, the birth of the conscious self is a threshold to a new level of consciousness for the individual and also for a nation. To become self-conscious is to be, to be able to self-reflect. And it's in this process of self-reflection that we become aware first, first time that we create our reality with our own thoughts and words and deeds. And this brings us to scrutinize them and take fuller responsibility for them. Maybe we can say that self-reflection is one of the um, signs of the first initiation. And when we have reached this stage of this capacity to self-reflect and uh, consequently of at least a rudimentary experience of our individual soul connection, it's then that we become able, then it becomes possible to reflect upon a greater entity like a nation we need to first do it for ourselves and have some experience and then we can start discerning the inner dynamics of a greater entity um, and definitely of the soul of a greater entity. So our national work is mainly on the subtle level. We deal <clears throat> with the consciousness aspect of a nation that which is behind the outer happenings. Of course, it includes also the outer happenings, but our view must stretch far beyond that. I recently saw a meme on the internet uh, stating that uh, great thinkers think about ideas, medium thinkers think about events, and smaller thinkers think about personages. So our view must be towards the causal level, tracing back through the personages on stage and the outer events to the subtle dynamics which precede any outer event. And when we do this, we need a lot of practice for this, <clears throat> but eventually we will be able to, to, to get some transparency, to see through the whole continuity of this creative process from the first impulse of an, a soul of a nation to how this impulse is received by the national mind and transformed by it into thought forms and then how the national emotional body reacts to them and creates an emotional climate atmosphere in the nation. And how then this emotional expression compounds into outer events that are being played out on the national stage. So it's a whole continuum of cause and effect that becomes apparent to us more and more as we practice. A chain of sequential densification. We have a spark turning into a vibration, turning into a wave, and densifying then into substance, into time and space coordinates. So our work as a national unit, as the conscious self of a nation, is to 
to become aware, to discern this long and complex fluid continuum. And we work within this. And we need to train um, this wide view, this holding a whole fluid spectrum in our consciousness in which the outer events are recognized as just a momentary fixation, a thickening for the moment. So we endeavor to encompass with our consciousness the whole national entity with all these different levels of density and it requires all of our levels um, from the intuitive through the mental and the emotional to the energetic subtle it's a whole spectrum work and when we do this through our holding the full spectrum of the national process in our consciousness. And we do this as individuals and especially as groups, we become part of the national antakarana. And all this work we are doing from the stool of the director in the center of the head. We have practiced this in previous webinars in quite some detail and uh, whoever would like to brush up on it uh, it's the webinar number 15 that focused on the stool of the director and in the two following ones we looked into the personality dynamics of our nation and also upwards towards the soul These recordings are on the 2025 Initiatives website, and Alexander perhaps can, in the end of the of the webinar, put the put the link in the chat. So, in our meditation that we will be doing now, we will build on this previous experience, and again observe the national personality and open ourselves to the national soul. And this time we will bring more maturity with us after all this practice and a more of an, yeah, of an all around grasp, a panorama view, so to speak. And this national self reflection exercise is, um, could be seen as the standard procedure for a national unit. It gives us an experiential overview of the state of our nation at any one time. It's always different. It's an energetic snapshot. It can be done from the bottom up, yes, from physical, emotional, mental, soul, or, or also um, later when we have a bit more proficiency, when we have more of, a, of, a, of some coordinates in this map, then we can also do it from top down. Today we will do it from the bottom up. Okay. So let's try it out. Let us take another deep breath. Coming again into our inner silence. We focus our consciousness in the center of the head. It's 
standing as the incarnated soul in perfect poise. And linking in with each other again as planetary stewards. Sense for a moment this planetary presence that we are. Linking in now with our ashramic co-workers, those who support and guide our national work. Sense their protective and guiding presence. And setting our intent now on serving our nation. Collecting our consciousness on the pinnacle. Overlighting our nation. Meeting there our other national co-workers. And working now as part of this national unit, as the conscious self of the nation, positioned at the midway point between the national personality and the national soul. Taking a moment to get settled into this function, into this position, As a unit, let us draw a connecting line upwards to the soul of the nation. And just standing for a moment in this national soul light. And let us keep this soul alignment in place during the whole of this national self-reflection. Okay, so from our pinnacle, we look out now to the physical presence of our nation. its location on the planet, its nature, the human structures in it, all the physical components of our nation 
Take a moment for this. Just becoming aware of all these components. See if we can get a, an energetic sense of the physical and etheric life of this collective organism, our nation. Let us now just sense into our own physical etheric body as a tiny part of this greater organism. See how we are connected. Okay, let us now withdraw our observation from the etheric physical plane of our nation, coming back for a moment to our pinnacle, taking a centering breath, I am the conscious self, the silent watcher. And now, let us look out on the astral body of our nation. It's made up of the emotions of all citizens and all the relationships between them. From the family ties, through the ethnic and religious communities, business connections, political and ideological groups, and so on. and see if we can get a, a general emotional atmosphere in our nation, noticing the various emotional streams and dynamics, maybe fields of tension in the emotional fabric 
of the nation. And let us sense now for a moment our own emotional body as part within this national emotional field. What's the interplay between our own emotional body and that of our nation? Okay, and let us now withdraw our focus from the astral plane back to the pinnacle. Breathing the fresh mountain air. Being aware of our co-workers standing with us. Enjoying for a moment the stabilizing effect of the group and readjusting the link to the national soul. Okay, as the silent watcher, we look out now again, this time on the mental body of our nation. We may notice first the constant buzz of random thoughts going on there. And underlying them, maybe we can discern the more pronounced, more stable thought forms, the mental patterns. And even deeper, perhaps more foundational thought forms. Let's take a minute to observe these.
And now take a moment to sense, observe our own mental body within this national mental body, this collective mind, sensing how we are impacted by the national thought forms and at the same time also as we as individuals and as a group can impact the national mental field. Okay, let us now withdraw our attention again back onto the pinnacle. Breathing and resting for a moment within our group of co-workers. And now, as a group, let us turn our attention upwards along the line of light connecting us to the soul of the nation. And we will just take a moment to be receptive to this higher light, this higher presence.
holding now this higher consciousness in our consciousness, the soul of the nation. And at the same time, if we can bring also our awareness of the personality of the nation into our consciousness, holding space for this meeting between the national soul and its persona. Okay, let us leave this alignment in place and turn our gaze now towards other pinnacles with the units working with other nations. See this alignment between the national soul and the national outer expression happening in all nations. See this process going on, soul light streaming into each nation, replenishing, strengthening, reorienting the outer form towards the higher Aquarian call. Let us affirm and anchor this happening by sounding three silent telepathic ohms.
Okay. Let's take a moment for those who would like to take some notes of their experience before we start sharing our impressions. So if you would like to share, just raise your hand on the control panel. And Alexander will unmute you. Hello, this is Rosita from Britain. Um, we have in our personality level a wound at the center of brokenness in our political system. And what I saw was great light coming with tremendous strength uh, to different individuals and different places all over the country, um, not specifics, I didn't see who, but I felt that these were a healing force which would be radiating the healing energy to the center where we need to heal this wound. Hello, this is Helen from Jerusalem. I had a very profound experience with this meditation. Uh, thank you. I will not go into the details of what I saw in, uh, in each of the bodies of my nation. But the picture that I had at the very end of the meditation it was a really beautiful picture of each nation taking its stand on the planet exactly where it is supposed to be, aligned upwards with her own soul or its own soul, 
and all the souls aligned to the planetary soul. It was such a beautiful, lighted picture. Um, and aligning also horizontally. And I could see the alignment horizontally uh, to each pinnacle uh, with its presence on the planet. Thank you very much. Thank you for this opportunity. Mm -hmm. Helen, have you said from where you come? Maybe we can all remember to say from which oh. nation. I don't know if I said, but um, it's from Israel. Yeah. Hi, this is Efrat from Jerusalem. I will join you, Helen. And it was a very beautiful meditation. And uh, I will share only with one aspect which came. Um, when we were walking about our own national lab, there was raising up the question of the nation of the Jewish people or Israel. We, I couldn't come to a clear understanding up till now. And from the introduction you wrote, Uta, which was beautiful, I saw that it's, there is a joint spark as a soul of this entity. But like two bodies uh, with different um, etheric bodies, emotional bodies, and it was very interesting picture and maybe uh, a door to a new understanding of this uh, entity. Thank you. Okay, wow. Interesting. Will be interesting to explore this further. share my impressions and um, um, this is Alexander I'm from New York and I'm originally from Ukraine um, 
I am, will be speaking, uh, will try to speak in two languages, in English and Russian, as I'm translating uh, behind the scenes to Russian speakers. Um, but as I speak here, I have to do it sequentially. Uh, я поделюсь своими впечатлениями сейчас uh, параллельно на двух языках. Uh, я перевожу, сказал, что я перевожу для uh, русскоязычных слушателей сейчас, и поэтому должен говорить на двух языках. A um, few months ago, I believe it was uh, around the time of Pisces full moon, I was sharing on behalf of the Ukrainian group, group uh, Ukrainian pinnacle, uh, sharing the snapshot of Ukraine. And um, as Uta mentioned, uh, uh, that the snapshot, it's a, it's, a, it's a snapshot, it's a momentous a reflection of where the nation uh, is now. And uh, today I had an uh, opportunity to see that, to experience that, um, remembering uh, our group impression about the snapshot of uh, our nation a few months ago, and it's uh, where it is now, and the difference, uh, sensing the difference between then and now. Несколько месяцев назад я от имени украинской группы, от украинской вершины делился снапшотом, который подготовила наша группа группа из Украины. И как сегодня Ута упомянула, что снапшот это моментальная рефлексия о состоянии нации в каждый конкретный момент. Я сегодня смог в этом убедиться, видя разницу впечатлений, которые были у нашей группы несколько месяцев назад, то, где сейчас находится наша страна, наша нация, и увидев разницу в этих состояниях considering everything that's uh, been happening since then. Just happened that the snapshot of Ukraine was presented right in the uh, eve of the, the war uh, uh, erupted. And uh, I remember um, on our group been witnessing a lot of um, um, different flows of energy uh, on the etheric and astral plane, and s as well as on the mental plane. So the, it was very turbulent, uh, very diverse uh, um, conglomerate of different energies. And what I could see now is the shift to um, much more unified and focused uh, body of energies on all the levels. And uh, it was almost like un unanimous mass intent. expressed through the will to win and the will to freedom. Несколько месяцев назад впечатление, которое было у нас, что в теле, в эфирном теле, в астральном теле, в ментальном теле Украины присутствуют разные потоки. Было ощущение Больш, много, много потоковой разнообразной конгломерации. То, что я почувствовал сегодня, 
это очень сильное изменение и проявление качества а, единоглас, практически единогласного, сфокусированного массового намерения, а, вызванное а, волей к победе и волей к свободе. So it was quite an interesting shift to observe that I just wanted to share. The очень знаковое изменение, которое я заметил, которое хотел поделиться. Thank you. Thank you, Alexander, for this sharing. Very touching, even more touching because you are also translating for the Russian group. Yeah. Deep gratitude for this. One can really feel how our group now here holds holds the space for the Ukraine, for Russia, for this whole tension, world tension. I see that most, if not all, the new units of service of, of, na of the nation, your national unit, are on the call. We have the three new sprouts uh, from Spain, South Africa, and Venezuela. Um, So would like to welcome all of you and um, taking this opportunity also to encourage more, uh, more participants to start a national unit, even if it's only one person at the moment. Um, We have started to put together a, um, a manual from the previous webinars, from the first webinars um, for the first steps of, um, yeah, of uh, how, how to start a national unit. And there's also some idea of perhaps uh, mutual support between the new, the new sprouts. Um, so warm welcome for anyone else who would like to to step up to the to the national pinnacle. If any one of you newcomers would like to to say something, please do so. But only if it's if you 
if you feel inclined it's not a don't want to put any pressure And also, if anyone else would like to to just share that they would like to to form a group, that's also an opportunity now to to raise your voice. Jonathan, uh, oh. Yes. Hello. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, Jonathan, I'm resident. I live in Portugal. I've lived here for 20 years. I'm British originally, but I really feel close, part of the culture. Uh, of the land and the people. I would love to participate and support uh, such a group effort in this country of Portugal. Wow. Well, I'm very glad to hear. Yeah, perhaps meanwhile, Jonathan, uh, would you like also to say something about uh, the course, the group leadership course that uh, you are offering in the fall? Okay, uh, yes, it might be an opportunity. Uh, thank you, Uta. Uh, this is really an intention to help us to focus ideas and reflect on the wisdom that is available to us as we seek to apply it. It's just, first of all, I want to pay deepest respect to everyone here. The signs of reflection speak to the awakening soul of humanity. And this takes freedom from the past and oftentimes great courage. I just want to honor that. We're beginning perhaps to recognize new levels of responsibility that we have, that we're willing to take on as observers and mediators. We're recognizing the role of consciousness as being causal to the outer life of humanity. We've been encouraged as a world group, as part of a world group, to take up residence in the so-called director's chair, <clears throat> the center of being, where consciousness becomes more causal. And many of us are familiar with existing methods and techniques. But as we look forward, how may we be guided to become more effective as group conscious souls, shouldering more of the burden with hierarchy on behalf of a suffering humanity? There is a great deal of practical wisdom that we can learn from to support us in this endeavor, both from the schools of Master DK, Master R, as well as Master M. And together with co workers, colleagues, Deborah and Lirita from the Meditation Group for America, myself 
as I said, from Britain. We felt inspired to offer a series based on the original course material, Cooperative and Leadership Training by Lucille Cedarcrans through the Wisdom Group, but adapted by us to include concepts and techniques for the applied wisdom gained from insight most relevant for our time. Just a couple of brief quotes. Cooperative leadership is and results in the perfect democracy. The hierarchy functions on a cooperative leadership basis. Cooperative leadership works out through a network of individuals, a perfect sharing of the burden of manifesting the divine, divine plan for humanity. <clears throat> I do want to emphasize <clears throat> that the intended focus of this series, perhaps to be offered in the autumn, is upon subjective group work. The subjective group contribution that we're evidently making as we mediate between hierarchy and humanity. To move towards subjective group council leadership on behalf of our nations, this is a concept that inspires me in particular. If I may, I'll just share the purpose statement that we formulated to develop and strengthen subjective group leadership in the nations as servers, mediating between the divine plan and the outer life and affairs of humanity by creating a pathway for group learning of principles and techniques of the ageless wisdom for Aquarius. And to support the sharing of best practices, observations, and response to the practical and spiritual needs of humanity. And I don't want to, uh, I want to very much compliment, emphasize the complementary nature of this intent alongside the work that you are doing so wonderfully. We would like to offer a presentation in the coming months of what we propose this series to be about its unifying purpose and content with a meditation experience and for everyone to have the opportunity to express your expectations. And that's it really. If anyone would like to get in contact, if anyone is interested to follow up on this, I'll put uh, the emails in the chat box. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Jonathan. Sounds like a very valuable opportunity. Of course, everything in this national work depends on the quality of our group work. And um, yeah, I have studied also uh, deeply the Lucille Sedacrans material, and I find it uh, very helpful, very deep, very practical for this type of work. So I heartily recommend this. And it's wonderful to, to have this complementation, yes, to, to share what each one of us can contribute to this pioneering work. Thank you. you too. Yeah, we have one one more um, contribution here. It's uh, Denise's book about Russia, which she started to announce uh, last time when we were rather abruptly um, finished um, because of a technical problem. 
So I would like to invite Denise um, again to say something about your book and uh, also share the link to the book. Please, Denise. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, yes. Uh, Uta is right. Uh, the last time the webinar somehow suddenly ended. And maybe uh, those who uh, was on the webinar that was um, two months ago remember me uh, so I held the uh, Russian snapshot. And now uh, it will be another try uh, to present my book. And uh, uh, thank you all for your time and to listen for me. My English is uh, not so good and maybe it leaves much to be desired but somehow i will uh, just have a talk with you and uh, and uh, maybe right now i would uh, ask alexander to give a link to the cloud now could, could you give the link uh, yes, you can see the link to Dennett's book in the chat. Uh, it's a, a link to Google Drive. Oh, yes. Thank you. And uh, uh, this is uh, the link uh, which contains the book and um, some other interesting materials. And you can safely go in and read it and may download it. You're welcome. And uh, the months that uh, have passed, uh, uh, by this month I uh, did uh, some more reduction of the book, uh, and but uh, not yet managed to format it perfectly, and uh, so uh, so it may be some confusion in numbering of pages but if you uh, don't pay attention to this uh, uh, you maybe even don't notice it so uh, not any trouble to read uh, uh, the translation is machine translation but um, they say that it's pretty good I, uh, I uh, cannot uh, tell you as it is so, but uh, they say that it is pretty good. And uh, now I want to tell uh, about, uh, and the first I want to tell you um, uh, why uh, that I decided to write this book. Uh, the thing is that uh, I have, um, from time to time, I have some talks with uh, various Western colleagues, co-workers, and uh, I have realized that sometimes our views uh, of, of the world are very different, and uh, 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 we have two uh, uh, rather uh, opposite perspectives. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, from time to time it is impossible to bring them together in our conversation. And uh, even if it will be a two conversation or even dozen conversation, the, uh, our perspectives uh, wouldn't connect. And that's why I decided to write a book. <clears throat> Uh, in which I could uh, 
uh, the whole picture of Russia. Um, and so that my Western co-workers would be able to feel uh, to feel Russia to its very core. Uh, and uh, uh, the book is uh, it is not uh, esoteric. It's a, a rather exoteric, but uh, nevertheless, uh, I think it touches uh, uh, touch touches on uh, some uh, some deeper esoteric aspects, and um, uh, those who um, one who can uh, see them, uh, he will see them. And uh, what about the book? Uh, the book about uh, about the USSR, how Russian people lived in the USSR, and uh, I think it, it is very interesting because nobody knows about uh, this. Nobody knows true about this. Um, uh, the book about uh, the World War. That's the second. I think that uh, there are so many facts that uh, will be also very interesting for Western people. The book about Perestroika, of, about Gorbachev, Yeltsin, and so on. Uh, the book about nowadays, about Putin's Russia. I think that is uh, uh, interesting too, and uh, of course, a lot of space in the book is given to Ukraine and uh, about the history of its relations with Russia, about uh, the, its standing, and uh, about uh, today's war, of course. Yes till the today's war. And um, besides, the book uh, is uh, also explores major sensation as uh, sensational. <laughs> sensational, I say, yes, I just pronounce it. Stories about Russia, um, uh, such as, uh, such as Kripals, do you know uh, that families Navalny uh, about Litvinenko, about um, uh, the war with uh, Georgia and uh, Russia in um, 8008, about Russian sports, and so on, so on. And uh, uh, I still wonder how I managed to fit all the important things in my book. <clears throat> and uh, uh, and uh, I think that uh, uh, for those who want uh, for who want to uh, to to. Um, uh, Получить. Uh, receive. Uh, receive, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, who uh, want to receive some uh, details, some facts or uh, evidence or proofs uh, to my words, um, uh, the books, the book provides over uh, 500 references. And uh, you can just uh, go to these uh, references, but uh, it is uh, they are uh, can you know, place you to the uh, Russian sites, Russian books, Russian uh, articles. But uh, you can use your uh, Google Translate or some other translators, and uh, I think now it is. Uh, it is uh, very easy to do this and uh, just read it, uh, read them and uh, uh, take your pleasure for this. 
and uh, I uh, I think that uh, my uh, my goal was uh, that this book should to help uh, the uh, the iron certain to fall. Uh, to, so to I, home, I didn't get the last sentence. Uh, um, I think that uh, um, my I don't think, but uh, my goal uh, of this book, my uh, that the iron curtain uh, must fall. The iron, iron curtain. Ah, curtain. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yes. Uh, curtain. Okay. <clears throat> and um, uh, and uh, I would be very grateful uh, for you if you uh, give me your feedbacks, uh, both uh, on the content or on the technical issues. And uh, um, Ah, I see. Uh, but uh, at the end of the book, uh, there is my uh, email. In the uh, in this e even uh, uh, end of the book, and uh, uh, I, of course, maybe can post it uh, now uh, to. Alexander, then he could post it to the chat. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, now I, yes, I found it and post it. Okay. Uh, and uh, thank you. I think uh, if, if I can help to, uh, to build uh, some our bridge uh, between uh, our two worlds. Uh, I think it will be uh, good work for all of us. Mm. Yes, thank you. You are welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Denise. Thanks a lot for mm. this. This. Uh, um, description of your book and for writing this book, making this effort, huge effort to to pierce the Iron Curtain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah. mm. I can, uh, you know, it's a it's a big book. I just want to to say that um, not to be afraid of the big book. But uh, if if there's anything specific that you that uh, you would like to have a Russian perspective, uh, a perspective of a of a Russian uh, uh, esoteric student, I think this is very valuable. Of course, it is one perspective. It's different, um, not the truth, <laughs> but one perspective. But it is very valuable to share these perspectives. Um, yeah, thank you for this bridge building. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I want to tell that uh, uh, it is not so big. It's uh, only 200 uh, pages. And uh, maybe uh, maybe s several evenings and uh, you will deal with this book. Okay. Yes. It's very rich. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, uh, you were, you are welcome to write for me if if you find some uh, some maybe uh, technical uh, uh, trouble so or. or or trouble with um, with your understanding with some facts or or, or some uh, in in other case you can write to me too yes mm -hmm. thank you yeah okay 
So we come to the end of this webinar. I see that uh, Alexander has posted um, the um, the link to the recordings of the previous webinars. Um, there are some sharings, I think. Um, no, I uh, tried to, to find my my, my email. <laughs> Okay, it is at the end of the book, but now I will try to find. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I see there's a uh, Marga saying that the link I posted it's the link to the snapshot. Uh, Denise, um, can you please resend again the link to the book? Because the link you gave me it's the link to the snapshot. Oh. Uh, but it is in skype do you have yes um, yes i have that uh, there this with the link that uh, 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 marga говорит что это ссылка на uh, snapshot россии uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Margo, I, ju I just checked the link that i gave there are three documents uh, uh, in inside this folder. So there is a snapshot of Russia. Then there is Dennis's book, which is called Russia in the Embrace of the West. And then another uh, folder uh, called Ukraine Masks Torn Off. So you can see all uh, inside this uh, a Google Drive folder, three different files. Or, uh, one file and two subfolders and there are many files in each of those folders subfolders thanks for clarifying um Sasha, I, I have uh, oh sorry yeah i have then, uh, yes. sent you uh, the, uh, my email or oh, in skype Mm -hmm. And uh, I will repost now email for uh, Dennis's email. And mm -hmm. Thank you. Use, using this opportunity, I want to apologize for the last time for the abrupt ending of our program because there was another program beginning uh, and we ran out, uh, like, uh, way more uh, outside of our scheduled time. So that was the reason the person who started another program didn't realize. Um, that there is a lab program still running, so that was the reason. So, apologies mm -hmm. for that, and I hope it's not going to happen today. And I will yeah. post now in this email. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, there are some um, sharing, some some in the chat that uh, I hope I will be able to read. It's a bit small uh, from Margarita. Thank you so much, Uta, for introducing us. My microphone is not working properly. I entered late and I missed the first part. In the meditation, it was all serenity around, like the observer point. Great, Margarita. And from Leone, this is uh, uh, Leone from South Africa. Dearest all, thank you for this vessel in which we can come together and for the warm welcome. Throughout our meditation, I felt the gold flowing through the veins, where is it? Gold flowing through the veins of my nations, South Africa and Zimbabwe. Much love and gratitude. Thank you, Leonie. Lots of blessings to your, to these oh. news. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I I gave uh, the the wrong email. <laughs> now yes. I'll, I'll give another email. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, Lucinda says thank you from Australia. Thanks, Lucinda. So we wait for the for the right address. Ah, then, yes. Then we we conclude. 
So we will not. And I uh, also want to, 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 to mention that I posted in the chat the link to uh, the archive of the Creative Labs uh, recordings that uh, Uta mentioned before, as well as the link to our YouTube channel where the recordings of all the previous lab sessions uh, are stored. And uh, uh, Sasha, so, so don't uh, don't repost, don't repost. Саш, ты можешь вместо ру написать ком? Вот тоже сам последняя ссылка. Окей. Gmail. точка ком. And we'll post now the correct email. Okay. So next time, next month, we will have a summer break. In August, we will not meet, and then in September, we will start a new series. Oh yes, perfect. Oh, here it is. The email address from Denise is in the chat now. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sasha. Okay, so all blessings to everyone and see you in September. And again, I want to use this opportunity to say big, big thank you and express our collective gratitude to you, Uta, for holding mm. this torch for all of us. Thank you. We can continue working as a world group, standing together with the hierarchy on behalf of humanity, using this opportunity of the full moon to invoke and evoke. Much gratitude.